أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنا أبدك العجيس ودعيفة ومسكين وظالم وجهل and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. InshaAllah we talked last night from the oceans of Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Muhammad and the immensity of Allah's oceans of bringing the Nur Muhammad into existence and that it's ahadiyya reality and this become complicated for a lot of people just take notes and inshaAllah one day it makes sense. That this ahad and this reality of ahad that when Allah going to bring this together to make the soul and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad light, it becomes the opening of wahad and its uniqueness. So from Allah's ahadiyya reality in which nothing is like unto Allah there's nothing of any understanding that we can understand from Allah brought from that light and put it. And that light coming and putting and making from samad and samadiyya reality that there is no it's self-sufficient, nothing is in need to feed it, to take care of it. Allah is the guard of that light, is the provider of that light. And as a result of that ahad and samad coming and making the reality of Nabi Ahmad, it opened the reality of wahid. The wahid is an ahad with a wow that Allah created this creation from the immensity of Divine oceans of love. Means that that ahadiyya samadiyya reality of the soul and its eternal reality of where it came from only Allah knows. When it came into existence only Allah knows. But as a result that ahad essence within Sayyidina Muhammad becomes wahid. So ahadiyya is for Allah that nothing is like unto it and it represents pure sincerity and the purity of the Divinely Presence. When it comes into the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah becomes wahid and there is nothing like unto that ocean. And that's why Allah that from my ahadiyya essence that there's nothing, there's no two of it. I'm going to bring that and to make your reality. When Allah brings that and makes the reality, that reality now becomes wahidiyya, oceans of wahid where Mawlana Shaykh describes wahdaniyya, there's nothing like unto it. That's why there's no prophetic light like it, there's no angelic light like it, there's no Kaaba like it, there's no Baytul Mahmur like it. It is one in Allah's creation. So there's only La ilaha illallah and then Allah created Muhammadun Rasulullah and nothing is like unto that. There's no partner with it, there's no equal with it, impossible. Its reality is, is not something that can even be understood and all are trying to move towards the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah And that's what Allah describes that reality in Ayatul Kursi. That from its knowledge you know nothing other than what He allows you to know. Means that reality of the knowledge of Muhammadun Rasulullah is unknown and only 
what is disclosed by what Sayyidina Muhammad wants to disclose of that reality. Means from that immensity of those lights, when we meditate and contemplate and that's why all of the foundation of tariqah and this way is based on mastering your meditation. If you don't master the meditation and make the connection and be from the people of light because once you make your tafakkur all your life is about how you're going to connect with the people of light, how you're going to connect with your shaykh, how you're going to connect with the shaykh's shaykh, how are you going to connect in this world of light to receive their fires which are emanations, to receive their lights, to receive these blessings. It doesn't occur on the physical realm. We use the physical as a means in which to connect towards the spiritual realm and the world of light. So then this is all the foundation of tafakkur and contemplation, meditation, connecting one's heart with the Divinely lights and our Divinely reality. As soon as they understood that they connect with their shaykh, they're connecting their heart, asking for the fires to come, asking for the lights to come. They've experienced that, they're good in that, they understood that, they're solid within their meditation, they don't have a question about the meditation. Then they can meditate on these realities and these different zikrs this comes. With this zikr they make their connection and they begin to say, Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Muhammad, Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Muhammad and begin to ignite their heart. And that's why Mawlana Shaykh put that into the Fajr awrad. That at the end of all of these beautiful recitations and etiquettes of Fajr there's a Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Muhammad three times so that you will be dressed by your Muhammadan reality. But if you are following only Allah they are in the oceans of Muhammadun Rasulullah wasallam, and they are from that maqam of Muhammadiyah and their Muhammadan dress is what is teaching that reality. So that to take everybody into their Muhammadan reality and that they have the Muhammadan lights and Muhammadan dress upon themselves inshaAllah. Whether either man or woman it doesn't matter that they have an image of the Muhammadan dress upon their being. So from that Muhammadan paradise these haqqaiqs are, are coming out to teach people on how to reach how to ignite their ahadiyya and the uniqueness of this light, that the uniqueness of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that the samadiyya reality that when they connect with Ya Ahad, Ya Samad that Allah begin to open Ismullah samad in which the self-sustaining reality of your light, that's why when they describe in a state of being lit you become eternal. You leave your temporary existence because we have a temporary light that Allah says, I send you onto this earth, make your light to be eternal. Take your temporary candle, nourish the light that given into your soul and don't extinguish the light and as a result Make your light to reach its eternity, make it to be lit. That's why we said we've been given a life, this is our currency, this is our cash that Allah gave to us. With this cash do you want to buy heaven or hell? Most are now busy buying their hell, their abode of difficulty and punishment and with this currency of life that's all they're interested. They want to buy more hell, more hell, more hell until they're filled with hell. And those whom Allah inspired that use the currency I gave you to buy your heaven, to buy your reality that you came and with everything Allah gave to you you're trying to reach towards the paradise realities. That samadhiya if it ignites within the servant their self-sustained light. Because the sun has that same quality, 
The sun has a… is an image for us to understand samadhiya that you don't take anything from that sun, you can throw as many things as you want, it's not going to turn off. So you don't have any effect on the reality of that light and that's just the imitation for us the Allah gives for us on the horizon a symbol. We're not living on this existence without symbols. Allah says the biggest symbol of eternity is that sun. You see that wherever you are on this earth and every Prophet saw the same sun in the story of this world and it's samadhiya that it doesn't need anything from us. It's self-sustaining, rejuvenating source of power. So now what everybody on earth found out that with all the fake power they made by explosion and combustion because all our power now is by exploding something and making the, the pistons and everything to combust, modern engine is based on explosion and making fire, we found out that all of that is finishing. So now what does humanity want? They want to harness the power of the sun where the people who were guided before because that's why we, we are not the monkeys becoming intelligent, we are intelligent becoming monkeys. So when you go to higher university you're going to a place where they want to teach you that you're a monkey and now you're Adam. And the school of Shaykh Nazim is that, no sorry you were Adam now you're Haywan, you were a human and now you're a monkey. So the school is made to make people into monkeys, so it should be called monkey university because you come out with monkey degree, you don't come out with human degree, you don't come out even understanding your humanity anymore. So now it occurred to them that we should take the power of the sun because the sun is a free power that emanating. It doesn't charge you anything nor does it cost anyone, it's a free power for all of humanity. Why? Because that's the symbol of guidance and the sight, the lights of Prophet the light of awliyaullah. That guidance and light is everywhere and it can rejuvenate and power everything. All you have to do is connect to it. So the dunya realized all the fake powers they didn't last us. Now let's go back to the sun and the people who were intelligent before that's why they made their pyramids. Everything was based on the sun that they brought these knowledges from heaven and that we have to take the power of the sun and what happens to the sun with the releasing of, of uh, <coughs> atoms and elements from water and then harnessed it between the rocks and the elements and they were having power plants and they lost all their uloom and all their knowledges. They went towards the combustion and now they're coming back to the cycle of they want the sun. But for us it's a reality that this is the ocean of guidance. All the fake guides and fake guidance and fake TV, fake books, it leads everybody to nothing. And what they are in need of are the reflections of the sun that are on earth, that the power coming from them is free. You pay nothing to tap into this channel. Don't get confused and say, well but you just asked for donation. No, but the channel is free for you. It broadcasts out to tens of thousands of people. Anyone can pick up the video, watch the video and it's coming out free. The knowledges are free, the websites are free, the power and the connection of energy is all free coming out. People connect with it and rejuvenate themselves with that reality. Now a sign of a sincere heart is that, I don't want it for free, I want to be committed to it, I want to support it. So that's something different. But the energy and the light that emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad revives everything dead. So anyone depressed, anyone sad, anyone coming with a heart that broken and a condition that been brought down by dunya 
They merely watch the teachings, read the teachings, submerse themselves in the teaching and these lights like sunshine more powerful than the sun that you see on, on, on the horizon is emanating into your soul and into your entire wujud. Every ray of their light that hits to your soul reactivates a cell and reactivates and rejuvenates the body because the inner controls the outside. In this world of malakut Allah said, malakut kulli shay that we gave all authority to the inner world of light and kulli shay means it controls everything. Allah gave all authority to the inner world of light. So the atoms, the lights and your element they control the condition of your outside, right? So if your inside's good, your outside's okay. But if your outside is good and you did nothing for the inside, you're dead, it's an empty carcass. So then this whole way is based on this reality to connect, to build the heart, to build the energy, to build everything of my inner core so that my soul is powerful. That's what protect us from these sicknesses. So these sicknesses are attacking and we need three. You have to build your soul as a result of building your soul, building your connection, building your energy. Your soul is strong to defend yourself against shaitanic attack because these are unseen elements coming towards you. As a result of your soul strong you have to strengthen your physicality so that your physicality has to take its vitamins, all the nutrients, all the correct foods. You have to exercise and move and keep the physicality to be physically fit. The diet is based on physicality, the vitamins based on physicality. All that Prophet gave to us is that you have to be physically fit. As a result of the physical being strong, the spiritual being strong, you have to be mentally correct, mentally fit. That's why then the teaching, the guidance, the understanding so that you operate with mental correctness, not manic, not crazy, not whimsical. So that bring your mind into check. So when you're meditating, contemplating everything is realistic, everything is based on faith, everything is based on the teachings so that to control the minds of people. So it means this is the importance of all this teaching in our everyday life. So now people watch television and they start to panic, I got to get one dose, I got to get two dose, I got to get three dose. There are people who actually have taken all the shots that are available like a cocktail for them, duck, 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 duck. They probably be dead in a few weeks. That many cocktails all in once, there's nothing left inside of you. But, but what's happening is you're operating from fear. So already shaitan has the mind and it's gone. It's, it's fearful, it's fearful. As a result of fear you run into fire. That's why the teaching is meant to come to hit your head, say, don't fear anything. It's whatever Allah has written. If they force you to take your shot, take your one shot. Whatever you're doing, listen, do your zikr, do your contemplation, keep your mind in check. And when they tell you move your body, take care of the vitamins, take all of the diets that they've asked so that your immune system for the body is strong. So that when these elements come towards the body they don't take advantage of a deficiency. And then they weaken the body and then go in and the person then has a bigger difficulty. So it means everything that Prophet brought for us. And why they're teaching these in these days is the immense hikmah. So when you take the body to the ability that you can, take your vitamins, take everything that they have recommended of your vitamin C, vitamin D, your vitamin zinc, your, your black seed oils, all of these things that they've been giving over the two years and then you keep your mind in check, don't be manic, don't be crazy, don't be uh, out of control control yourself, control everything about your understanding and the teaching 
and then you should be doing your meditation. Don't think you've got it and you've been here for 20 years, you probably don't got it. You have to make the connection, you have to visualize, you have to make sure that you're visually correct and that that energy is coming into your heart and inspirations are coming into the heart and the lights are coming into the heart. As a result these three become very powerful. That is the holistic way of tariqah. With that connection, with that power, with that emanation then inshaAllah they should be strong through these oceans of difficulty like currents that becoming wave after wave. If we're not strong and built like a ship these waves will take many things down. But alhamdulillah they plan, Allah plans better because He wrote the whole plan. InshaAllah He make those whom are like ships to be very powerful ships. Like military destroyers, they go through the ocean, doesn't matter what wave they can go above the ocean and they can surely go under the ocean. Because when Allah is supporting, la hawla wa la quwwata inna billahi alayhi wa ladheem, there's nothing that can come against Allah's support. And that's from oceans of samadiyya. So alhamdulillah, inshaAllah Allah dress us all, bless us all, inspire us to make the connections and to do the practices. Lots of information, alhamdulillah if you wrote it and then you can go back slowly, slowly and reread it so that it can be absorbed into the system inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. <laughs>